Welcome to the Adrian Area Chamber Program, Ask a Member. I'm Ann Hughes, President of the Adrian Area Chamber, and it's my pleasure today to introduce you to C.J. Boschka, who has For His Glory Creations by C.J. And C.J. is a creator, she's a teacher, um, you just do so many things. But how did you get your business started? And tell us about the name, too. Okay. Um, back in 1999, uh, I went to Texas, and my dad was ill and my sister took me to this place that made angel pens and so to begin with I started making angel pens and um, doing little school shows in the area mm -hmm. and um, I kept praying about the name of my business because I always want to give God glory for everything I do mm -hmm. and and that's what came out for his glory and I told my sister about it and she goes that is so cool you know and so that was, I made up my mind, that was the name for His Glory. And um, as I started learning new techniques, actually moving to Michigan <laughs> seven years ago is when things changed. And um, I had to become a teacher to myself first. Okay. And so I taught myself all the different stitches. And um, I'm, I do have Native American in me, so that's always been, I've always, lean towards the beading mm -hmm. and so um, I started teaching in Tecumseh at the bead box and um, she made me her main instructor and I taught there for about two and a half years and then um, in 2009 I decided that I wanted to uh, have some confidence and I put out a pub I put a piece out for publication they accepted it. Actually, it's this piece right here. It's, this is called Eye of the Twister. Um, this is 25 hours of beading, but it also made the cover. Oh, wow. <laughs> it made the cover of the hardbound um, year, year's worth of designs by a lot of different designers, but I was happy to see it on the front. So, so that's a real critical thing yes. for, for a creator and, a, and uh, in a lot of industries, but uh, being a bead designer, to, to be published, and you haven't just been published once, you've been published how many times? I'm going on my ninth, public, my ninth publication, and this year, instead of focusing on shows and, and things like that, I want to focus on maybe about three or four more publications. Um, right now I have something in the works, I um, put in my name for a bead challenge, and they accepted me, and they sent me a kit, and there's five people that participate, and so, uh, so you, you create, didn't come with directions. It I doesn't it. come with directions. <laughs> okay. It's all, what I do usually is I just say, okay, God, these are your hands and just whatever comes out. And this piece that I'm working on has got a lot of color to it. Um, they sent a lot of different, uh, a lot of different kind of components for it. And it's just like all of a sudden I saw what it needs to be, and it's it's in the works. <laughs> and all five pieces will be totally different right. from each other. Well, right. I know we see that when with a quilt challenge. Right. You know, everybody starts out with the same fabric, and there's no no resemblance. Right. So, do you I, design I'll, most of your pieces? I do yourself? design all my pieces. I do not like to create the same thing twice. <laughs> so, was, did you have you taken any formal training? I have not. You did this yourself. Well. I just, it's We're a gift. It's a gift. Yeah. Yeah, it, it it's a natural nice. gift. I, it just flows. And um, my, actually my jewelry right now is traveling around the country. <laughs> You're here it, and it's it, around, it, going around the right, country. Right. It, it went to Texas and my sister has sold many pieces to church friends and different people that uh, she's acquainted with. She owns her own business as well. So um, she knows a lot of people in the community. And she started wearing her stuff, and they'd go, where did you get that? And she'd say, my sister made yeah. it. So finally, she said, you have to send them some things. Then I sent some things to my friend in Florida. Another friend that I haven't seen since junior high school <laughs> has my jewelry in Coral Gables, Florida, and is selling it. And it is just amazing to me that, you know, the way wow. things work. Now, when you, when you are published, do you contact the publisher or do I they do. contact you? I give a digital um, sample, send them a picture, explain what's used in it, explain what stitches I've put in it, um, and then if they, they'll 
contact me back and say, you know, our editors will be looking at this um, and we'll get back with you. So it could be a process of maybe a year sometimes. Mm. Um, they come back, they say, oh yes, we want your piece. And then I have to write the full instructions. And actually I could give, show a sample of um, one of my other pieces that were published and I have it here with me. Um, this is Mirror Mirror. And um, so this is my, what, the, what I did was this is my design. They remake it to make sure that the instructions are That's correct. Right. And then they give full, the oh, full instructions. instructions on how to make it. Yeah. So when, when you start to design something, I mean, where do you start? How did you make that necklace that you're wearing? I laid out a palette of pearls, like this uh -huh. colors. I kind of laid out kind of almost like a, a canvas of, of beads. And then I just start working. And I knew for this one, this was in the Adrian Gallery across the street. Okay. Yeah. And I did a gallery show last year. Right. And um, this is called Roman Goddess. And it was for the Enchanted Garden Show. So all of my students, I teach, and so all of my mm -hmm. students made a floral design for the enchanted garden that was okay. playing at the Croswell, because the Croswell sometimes works with the gallery mm -hmm. to do connected shows. Right. And um, I had a lot of people looking at this piece. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, you have your pieces that you that don't want to get rid of. <laughs> sell, yes. yes, that you're so, like, no, that's not going to anybody else. <laughs> so what else did you bring with you? I well, was looking at that, the turquoise. Oh. You know that I like the turquoise. Oh, up, up here. here. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's a, this is a um, glass bead and I encased it so that it fits on, you know, so it won't come out yeah. with beads. And so, yes, I'm, a walking I, made my, this I made my jacket. This was supposed to be in the gallery and I didn't finish it. <laughs> it's beautiful. So, okay, what then, else do we have? Um, I do some, like in my classes, I like to teach some wire. So this is like um, made with crochet wire and beads and, you know, some leather. And then this was a cabochon that I beaded around and placed on there. Where do you get all your supplies? I finally, because of, you know, being an artist, and I have a wholesaler that I buy through. And it's not someone you can just, anybody could buy through. Okay. You know. but this one's oh, embroidered and has, um, actually this was a design that also came into this design. <laughs> oh, that's And cool. this one. That looks like needlepoint. It almost does. This one's called Last Kisses of Summer. And I actually, I was so excited. I made the cover. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I made the cover. That's just gotta be terribly exciting so to it see was, your creation on the cover of a magazine. Well, they didn't tell me. And it, they surprised me when I got it. I just burst into tears. I was like, oh my goodness. And my husband was like, well, honey, <laughs> you know. So can, are you teaching now? I am teaching. Where I at? teach at Hobby Lobby and Adrian. Okay. I teach from 11 to three on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I'm trying to put together a Saturday class from 11 to 3, but that's by appointment because I need to build that. Okay. Um, what, what are the costs? It's $20, and your supplies are not included. That's because with, with my classes, I don't limit anyone, and I don't make them learn what I say they have to learn. They're all not sitting there doing the same right. thing for five hours right. and take their right. look-alike pieces and go home. Right. Okay. If you want to do polymer clay, we've been doing polymer clay. If you want to do, and I don't have anything polymer with me, but um, if you want to do, you know, embroidery, we have the embroidery. If you want to do wire and beading, you yes. know, this is very freeform stuff. So their own creativity yes. can come out. They yes. don't have to. I um, don't want you to be me. <laughs> okay. I don't want anybody well. to be me. I want them to be their own creator, you know, that they can draw out of them what's inside. Because I believe that that's what happened to me. It just, things Gosh. started coming out that I didn't realize the creativity I have inside of me. Now, where do you sell your pieces locally? Um, I don't really, I do Are Delicious. Mm -hmm. um, and You've done I, all about women before. I've done all about women. Actually, at those were wonderful because I did the free make and takes and right. met lots of nice women, you know, coming through there. Um, 
I didn't do Chacapalooza this year. I, I'm focusing, my focuses are changing this to? year. I have a big family. <laughs> I have four boys still at home. So right. I have a 12 year old. I have a 14 year old in sports. You know, I have an 18 year old getting ready to graduate. Right. So I'm busy. I have an 86 year old mother right. living with me. So I'm a busy person. Yeah. And so what's one thing um, that you'd want to leave um, our viewers with? Um, you know, if they wanted to get get into jewelry and, and well, uh, I would love for them to come to Hobby Lobby. And, okay. You know, I always tell people come by and see what we're making. And again, what day? It's Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and then by appointment on Saturdays, okay. 11, to, 11 3. to three. Okay. So and you just stop in the classroom and see what you're doing. Right. And see if the, I tell them come the by. Bug gets look. Them. Yes, because yeah. um, I have some wonderful students. I have two male students that have come yeah. every week they're wonderful That's and great. they're great create they're very creative okay you know okay if they want to get a hold of you how do they do that um they would call me i'm going to give my home number because okay. my cell phone is okay. doesn't like to work <laughs> so it's 517-263-0933 okay and they can always find you through the chamber as well yes they can find yeah. me through the chamber yeah. and cj yes thank you, thank very you much. for having me thank i really congratulations on your success well, and i have a gift for you Oh. <laughs> I brought something for well, you. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. I know you oh. like pink and green. <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll make that our, um, our final shot here. It's gorgeous. Thank you. You're That's welcome. Lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks.